recently uh, saw a meme that jogged my memory of uh, something I saw, I guess it'd be 10 years ago now. Uh, I can't tell you what the meme is. Uh, it's it's work, It's work. Uh, off of a quote that I'm going to talk about, uh, but the quote has profanity in it. So uh, if you're not familiar with what it is, uh, you're not going to make the connection with the uh, bumper stickers and t-shirts, but uh, I'll cut out the profanity and just give you the point of what was said. Uh, there's a guy called uh, Richard Dawkins. He's uh, apparently a very smart guy. He's a uh, British evolutionary biologist. Uh, he's an author. Uh, he has a title uh, at New, o New College, Oxford, uh, that I can't even pronounce. But uh, he was also a professor for public understanding of science at the University of Oxford from uh, 95 until 2008. Uh, Dawkins is most well known for uh, his criticism of creationism and intelligent design. Uh, he's an extremely vocal atheist. Uh, so he was uh, part of a presentation uh, at Oxford in 2013, uh, and then after the presentation, uh, a small panel of the presenters were uh, sitting on stage and they were fielding questions from the audience. And uh, one of the audience members uh, comes up with this question. Uh, I'll just quote him because it's easier to do that. The question is about the nature of scientific evidence. You both said, I think most people here would agree with you, that we're justified in holding a belief if there is evidence for it, or there are logical arguments we can find that support it. But it seems like this in itself is a belief, which would require some form of evidence. If so, I'm wondering what you think would count as evidence in favor of that, and if not, how do we justify choosing that heuristic without appealing to the same standard that we are trying to justify? And then so Dawkins answers his question. He says, how do we justify, as it were, the science that science would give us the truth? Because it works. Planes fly, cars drive, computers compute. If you base medicine on science, you cure people. If you base the design of planes on science, they fly. If you base the design of rockets on science, they reach the moon. It works. Then he goes off into his profanity. However, uh, I feel like he might be overlooking something. Uh, when Dawkins made that statement, the font changed. <laughs> when Dawkins made that statement, uh, he gained instant attention. Uh, like I said, he he uh, he was a uh, made part of memes, uh, there was bumper stickers, there was uh, t-shirts, and uh, everybody was just so proud of him uh, and his flawless response. Uh, the response that science works. Uh, his quote became a, a mantra for militant atheists. Uh, but like I said, I have a hard time believing that all these super scientists can't see the problem with his statement. Science works when it's based on truth. The products of science don't work when the science is based on false concepts. Science is only as good as our current information. Science is an organized search for truth. But science itself is not the infallible religion that they hold it to be. So we understand as Christians that truth comes from God. God is truth. Dawkins is, is undoubtedly smarter than I am. Uh, so I think the statement he made is worth some consideration the logic that he used about it works, so therefore uh, it's, it, it's proven. 
anything God has ever said is true. Everything he has made is perfectly to his intent. When there's been instances that science has proven that God is wrong, over time we find that that theory has been flawed. I mean, this has been since the beginning of man. God has been proven time and time again. If we wait long enough, we find out that science can never disprove God because God is truth. God is never wrong. Not only that, but he's told us how to achieve something much greater than making airplanes or curing diseases. So if I was going to hijack Richard Dawkins' quote and kind of reword it to fit this situation, how do we justify a belief in God? He works. His people, people better. His families work the way they should. And his church is far greater than any conglomeration of people on the earth. When you base your life on the principles of God, you are a functional person. When you build your family after God's model, you have a unit that is unbreakable. And when you build a community of people into God's church, People come together in a way that is only dreamed about in secular circles. God works. If you have a need tonight, God works. Let us know if we can help you by coming forward as we sing a song.